Right, next project is to change the alternator because um, besides the extra uh, amperage need to run the uh, MSD module you know for the plasma um, HHO cell a few other things um, plus the uh, alternator is going out because the battery keeps going dead even with the big three upgrade it really didn't make any difference so anyway this is the uh, shade here this is the stock alternator 85 amp output so the one that I'm replacing it with is this uh, one from uh, DC Power Engineering. Pretty sure it'll work just fine. A little bit spendy, about 400 bucks. But this is a 180 amp. So it's 95 amps more than this, uh, over double. And so that's going to be plenty for uh, my needs. Most people are getting these to power um, these big car uh, uh, audio amps and stuff. But uh, I'm not doing anything with that. Just uh, HHO cell, some uh, ionizer technology, and some other stuff. So just testing it out. So it's supposed to be a direct uh, bolt-in. Um, they do have a whatever kind of jack that is, which is obviously different from this. But what they do is they put a uh, this goes onto the new alternator, and then this end. I don't know if that was intended to be matched up to a uh, Subaru plug but it doesn't you sent the wrong plugs so what I'm going to have to do is cut those two wires which inside here is labeled positive and negative and I'll just have to uh, bullet connect them or something so from here so I have to just cut cut these strip them and put bullet connectors right there actually I'd like to solder it um, but anyway, um, we'll go ahead and get that put in. A few minor details about what I don't like about this DC power engineering alternator. For one, this uh, right side um, mount, this bolt right here, that lever, that little piece of metal right there is supposed to wrap behind it, and it's supposed to wrap on top. And so the uh, that should have been machined down a little bit more if they need it that much. Um, obviously nobody there has actually probably installed one. You know, that's not extremely crucial. But the other thing is right here is that um, I've lifted this up quite a bit. That's maybe a little bit more tight than I would like it. And still, this AC compressor belt Well, I'm not going to turn the crankshaft that way, but um, this AC compressor belt rubs on there. That's touching. So that needs to be ground down quite a bit. Okay, this is installed. Um, this is a little bit tighter than I than I want it, but. I had to tighten it up a little bit to get um, that off of the AC compressor belt. Right where I do want it, a little bit not as tight as that, it will be touching this and so to solve that you have to grind this down but um, I'll see how this works at that at that type of uh, tightness. Okay so here we got it running. Okay, alternator's installed. Um, I reinstalled the uh, zero gauge wire from the positive to the uh, fuse box um, to here. I left the stock one intact. Uh, let's see. Okay, so with this alternator, the bracket that mounts to this bolt that's connected to this does not fit. So I removed it. Uh, this is just temporary bolt. I'm going to do something different, um, and I'm going to put a little bit of reinforcement in there, bolt it, and so um, bolts here, bolts there. This is kind of free hanging right here, um, so I'm going to rig up something, or I might just make my own bracket from here to here, and uh, that'll solve it. Um, probably a lot of Subaru guys are just leaving this off because they like the alternator look and everything, but um, 
I'm opting for the safety, keep that covered. So anyway, this is all set and uh, we'll see what it does. Well, the lights, um, all the lights are on, even with the high beams on, air conditioner blasting on full, stereo blasting. Um, this battery is at 15.0, and it's pushing back and forth right there, so this alternator is definitely cranking it out, and uh, loading it up has no problems. And I'm going to have, you know, over 100 amps to spare, besides running the car to do what I want to do with the hydrogen booster and other stuff. Okay, so here's the Subaru. Here is the this thing won't focus. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so it's blurry, but um, if you're looking at the uh, plug from this side, retainer clip on top, the left side is switch, the right side is lamp left side is black switch is the blue one right here it's supposed to go to black so that's correct and red which is the middle one actually that third pin from the left goes to white because that's supposed to go to lamp which is L which is the white one so hooking it up that way makes that alternator stay on and uh, kill the battery. Switching it opposite from what it's supposed to be actually works. So um, this must be wired backwards inside or this is wrong or this is wrong. So I don't know. But in any case um, it does work now but it's opposite of what's uh, supposed to be happening.